It's been a while since we released a video on IntelliJ IDEA. If you're a fan of the IDE, you know how many features gets released in every release in the IDE. And it's very difficult to catch up because there are tons of shortcuts which you have to remember. And I have been making a lot of videos which I found productive during my usage inside the IDE. We will be looking at some of the new features which I have been using in the recent times. I hope it will be productive. If you are using a Windows machine, I have enabled the presentation assist inside the IDE so you can see the Windows shortcut as well. Now let's jump into the video. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. About the IDE which I am using, I am using the Community Edition 2019.1. Already that is the Community Edition for 2019.2.3 which is in the EAP release. But I am still using the Community Edition 2019.1.3. I don't have an Ultimate Edition in my laptop. And this is a free edition which everyone can use. So whatever shortcuts I am going to show and the plugins which I am going to show, you will be able to install them as well. So the most basic plugin which I use very often is the presentation assist. So if you look at this green option here with the shortcut, that is nothing but the presentation assist plugin, which helps in showing what shortcut did I press. If you're looking at my presentation and if you want to know what shortcut I pressed, you can take a look at presentation assist. Same way, if you're presenting something to a wider audience and you want others to look at your screen and understand the shortcuts then you can use presentation assist it helps in exposing the shortcuts which you are extensively using and also there is a windows variant as well so you can definitely go to the presentation assist and configure custom settings for example double shift takes me to search everywhere this is the most common feature which i use in the intellij if you don't know where to go for example i want to check the settings of the presentation assist so i didn't know where to check it so i'm going to type presentation assist and the moment i say presentation it's showing me what are the different options inside the id not specific to the code which i have opened but within the id and see that i can navigate to the presentation assist which is present in the preferences and i can configure what are the key maps which i want to bind if let's say you have an eclipse key map configured you can obviously select the eclipse but i would say when you're using intellij definitely don't use the eclipse shortcuts because you will be losing out on lot of shortcuts which intellij provides by default now how to learn these shortcuts there is a separate plugin called key promoter x which helps you in identifying what are the different navigations which you performed which can be compressed into a shortcut for example let's say i am in a file i'll minimize this options now I'm trying to identify who are all using this particular class. For example, I'm just double clicking and then saying analyze and then I'm doing an inspect code or for example, let's say, let's do a find usage, which is simple, right? The moment I click on it, key promoter says you are using this for the third time, but there is a shortcut which is associated with the action which you performed. Now, if you miss this particular key promoter, there is an option here which shows up what are the different actions which you performed inside the ID which can be converted into a shortcut and you can easily use it. This particular plugin has been downloaded by more than 400,000 people and they have been actively using it. I recently found out this particular plugin and I just installed it today and I'm going to use it. And this particular plugin is not going to be used from the day one because it's going to need some data so that it can analyze and tell me what are the different shortcuts which I can use which I am frequently doing a manual action on. The next commonly used syntax or code generation logic is sout. So the moment I say sout, system.out.println gets printed. But there are other options like sout v. The moment I do sout v, it identifies what is the variable which is present inside this particular method and it's going to automatically print that variable. Intelligent, isn't it? So that is another way of getting code generation out of the box. Let's say I'm having a variable called int i. Now I want to print HTTP, which is the argument or the parameter to this method. Now I can do a S out P, which will do the print of the parameter. 
now if i want to do s out of the i object i can still do s out v which will print the i object because s out v is the variable and here i is the variable and http is nothing but the parameter now if let's say i want to print the class name and the method name in the log statement i can do s out m which automatically gets the class name and the method name these are pretty useful when you are debugging stuff and most of the time we don't use system.out.println but it's quite handy when you want to print something when you're working on some proof of concepts the next plugin which i recently found useful is codata in fact i can make a separate video on this particular plugin but just let me know if you want a separate video i can do that for example most of the time we write commonly used codes if let's say i'm going to do a buffer read i'm going to use the buffer reader now i don't know what are the different statements which i require in order to read something now i can install the codata plugin now i can right click on this text which i have already written and say get relevant examples in fact there is a shortcut here where you can use now the moment i click on get relevant examples codata goes to the internet in fact it specifically goes to the stackoverflow.com and identifies what are the different corresponding codes which are available inside the platform and it shows us that for example this is a post request method where they are reading a url and then converting uh, reading getting a message from that particular url if it is okay then they are doing a buffer read and things like that there is one more where it hits the yahoo.com there is one more where they are reading a input processor and then doing some operation so these are code snippets which are coming from the internet which you can leverage and you can use it in your file in fact there is a link associated with the stack of the questions you can click on the view post to directly take you to that particular question and you can identify the relevant question from the code snippet itself this is a very helpful plugin when you don't know whether the code you are writing follows to some standard practices or not do try it out and let me know how it is the name of the plugin is codata c o d o t a now coming back to the code generation part let's say i want to perform something over the object http or i so let's say i want to have a if loop so the moment i say if i can select a variable the moment i click on command shift and enter it automatically wraps that particular variable with a braces in general what happens is if you don't do this you will have to manually add the open brace close brace and the curly braces right but when you are in a if statement if you press command shift and enter intellij automatically adds these braces because it knows that you are in the if loop and it automatically or intelligently completes what needs to be done the moment you select an object like we did here and if you press enter it wraps that particular object within that particular braces and you can work from there the other most common thing which i use is the post fix completion for example i realize that i have created a equals check but i want to do a not i can do a dot and then not and then say tab and automatically an exclamatory symbol adds this is a common thing which i had already showcased but i use it heavily as well the other thing which i have been using recently is sometimes i run out of power in my laptop so i use the power saving mode so i just press the double shift where i can search for anything inside the id and i have searched for power saving mode and i can enable it or disable it so by default it says code insight and the background tasks are disabled in the power saving mode so this saves a lot of power in your laptop when you are running out of battery power i have disabled it back the next most useful thing is jshell console go to tools and open the jshell console this will open a console and here you can write the java code like how you do inside a method i can just say youtube and i can say system dot out dot println with a and the moment i run this this automatically gets run as well see that youtube is getting printed this is the jshell console which is integrated with the jdk's jshell which are introduced in the newer versions of the jdk these are otherwise called as repls so you can write any snippet here and then you can paste those snippets into your main production code this is one easy way of identifying or creating utilities and testing it within your ide itself you don't have to create a separate java class and then test it independently coming back to the same class sometimes we want to add documentation for this particular method right in order to do that there is something called fix doc comment the moment you click on fix doc comment automatically 
these comment sections get added so if there is a parameter it automatically adds it it also adds the exceptions if it throws any so you can directly do a double shift and search for fix doc comment the other thing which i exclusively use is the vertical splitting if let's say i want to copy from one class to another i can do a vertical splitting and then i can open a different class in the left side and let's say i want to copy from here i can just copy and then paste it in this particular class so whatever you want to do vertical splitting helps in productively working across two different files at the same time and especially if you have a bigger screen then it is pretty helpful the other common thing which i use during presentations are the font increase option so i'll go to double shift like you see i already have used double shift a lot of times i can type increase font the moment i type increase font it automatically increases the font a bit bigger now if i want to increase it again double shift again double shift so i can do the same until the audience says that the font size is enough now if i want to reset back to the same size i can search for reset font size and i can hit it now this resumes back to the existing font size this is pretty useful when you're presenting your code in the bigger screens one last other thing which i want to cover as a part of this particular video is the common copy paste option so what we do is sometimes we copy something here and we go to a different file and paste it and then you realize you had copied something else as well as a part of it but you want to paste the previous object now how do we do it there is an option called command shift v so command shift v will tell you the last five clipboard options which you had copied inside the intellij idea so all these are the different options which i had copied now i can go and paste protected though i had copied it long time back so this helps you when you are copying a rest endpoint and you are uh, playing around with your code and then they, later you want to paste that rest endpoint again back so that's when you will be using Control sh shift v these are some of the shortcuts and the plugins which i've been recently using if you still want to know more about intellij do check out my existing videos on intellij idea and what are the different shortcuts and tips and tricks which i already use i hope you found this particular video interesting if you're not using intellij idea this is your chance to get started as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much